you can buy a 150 mile outdoor HD TV antenna for under $50, but don't do so with expectations of receiving channels located 150 miles away because you won't get them. You should be able to pull in your local channels up to 55 miles away so it isn't like you'll be wasting your money on something that doesn't work. It will work, but not as well as you might expect it to work. Is this false advertising? Maybe. Oh, and stay tuned to the end of this video and we will show you how to easily make your own antenna for less than $5 that will work as well as this antenna. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. First off, the ad says you will receive free HD channels and save a lot of money in the process since you will no longer have monthly cable bills. This antenna also comes with a built-in 360 degree rotor operated by a wireless remote control that allows you to adjust the antenna to any direction. It also features dual TV outputs so you can plug in two TVs without the need of splitters. If you have more than two TVs, you will still need splitters. All in all, this antenna will receive broadcasts from your local providers up to 55 miles away. The problem comes with the 150 mile claim. It isn't going to happen under any circumstances. The reason why you won't be able to receive channels more than 55 miles away is because all TV signals are line of sight by nature. This means you have to be able to see the broadcast tower, or at least your antenna has to be able to see the TV waves coming from the broadcast tower. If the earth was flat and your antenna was on level ground with the broadcast tower, the signal would come in fine. However, because the earth is round, it doesn't take long before you are no longer on even ground. To compensate for the Earth's curvature, TV towers are built to be tall, like over a thousand feet tall. However, the Federal Communications Commission and the Federal Aviation Administration limits the height of a tower to no more than 2,000 feet. The FAA considers anything taller to be a hazard to air navigation and it becomes more difficult to keep a structure that narrow and that tall from falling over. A 2,000 foot high tower has a broadcast range of 60 to 65 miles, while a tower 1,300 feet tall has a range of 50 miles. In order for an antenna to receive a signal from a broadcast tower 150 miles away, either the tower or the antenna would have to be at least 14,000 feet higher than the other. This height would allow for a line of sight from one to the other. The only feasible way to achieve such a greater line of sight would be to launch a satellite broadcast platform. A TV satellite is 23,500 miles high and can broadcast a signal that can be received anywhere in the country. This is possible because there is nothing in between the satellite and your antenna and it is within the line of sight. If you choose to buy a 150 mile HD antenna, do not expect to receive channels from more than 50 to 60 miles away. This particular model is a directional antenna that needs to be pointed towards the broadcast tower in order to work at peak efficiency. Another option you might consider is an omnidirectional antenna that doesn't have to be pointed in any specific direction to work. The best part is that you can make one for under five dollars using a pizza box and aluminum foil. There is a video that will show you how to make it in the description below and at the end of this video. One thing that video doesn't tell you about is the length of the coax cable used to connect the antenna to the TV. For best results, use at least 20 feet of coax cable. The reason is that the coax cable acts as a booster for your antenna and will improve your reception. You can place the antenna closer to the TV than 20 feet, but if you do, try to stretch out the cable along the wall to its full length even if it's 10 feet one way and 10 feet back the other way. This is the type of antenna we use for our TVs and we are over 50 miles from the towers.